Kendrick! Kendrick! Mighty rusty and covered in creepers need another way in. Hey! You hear me? Anyone there? Kendrick. Kendrick. You there? Not so loud. Ah! Oh, God, scared me off to... Not so loud, I said. Fog's not natural. Could be something in there hiding. Foglets or air nymphs, for example. Don't want to attract them. Believe me. F foglets? Oh, sweet mother my little why did I ever come here? Kendrick fellow, who is he? I... we partners. Sneak into derelict houses. With something valuable lying about. Good question. What are you doing here? See, Kendrick and me, we thought... Man has been empty all these years, full of fine things, going to rot. Mm hmm So you're a thief? Thief steal from the living? W what's the arm taken from the dead? Kendrick went to open the door. I stood watch. Suddenly heard his lamp smash. And nothing. Quiet. Called out to him, but... What was that? One of them foglets you spoke of? No. Phew. That's a stone off my... I'll see what that was and look for your partner. You... I ain't about to wait around. I'm out of here. Pretty sprawling, this estate. How am I gonna find that rose in this fog? Fresh manure. Someone's still tending to the flower beds. No violet rose, though. A grave here? Woods rotted completely. Ice cold, mountain stream cold. Rather worn, used often. Wonder by who. No violet rose here, maybe somewhere out back. What are you doing in a place like this? Best shoe before you get hurt. Shame you can't talk. Shame you can't talk. Rope looks new. Bucket's been repaired. Gardener's hut. Could it be? are so organized it's scary.
busted lamp, and the grounds trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? busted lamp, and the grounds trampled. Somebody dragged something this way. A body? dragged a wounded man through here. Prints from cleated boots, leading from the back of the garden. Somebody's still taking care of the place. Scooch along, kitty. This place. What's that? That. Digging. A lockpick? Must have been the other thieves. Graves, unmarked, laid out in rows, like garden beds. Hey. Hear me? Thief. Bodies mutilated. Who are you?
fuck was that? No eyes or nostrils, deformed organs, damn thing had no right to be alive. Well, philosophers do still debate what it means to be alive, exactly. Normally I'd be shocked, but not after what I just saw. Who are you two? Clearly not animals. Think of us as friends of the house. What's with the show? The pretense that you're animals. You couldn't have warned me? No. We're obliged to maintain discretion. So why talk to me at all? Why? Well, we get so few chances to talk to humans, and we're curious to know what brought you. Gonna need a better answer than that. Later. What about this thing? What can you tell me? Friend of yours? We called him the Caretaker. Doesn't look like any creature I've ever seen. Where'd it come from? From very far away. He was summoned to guard Lady Iris in the home. He tended the garden, took care of unwanted guests. Very far away? Meaning where exactly? The name of this place would mean naught to you. You know the master of the house, the owner? Olgird von Everick? Yes, we know him, but he left, and his wife became mistress of the house. Great. So, Lady von Everick home? Could you announce me, say she has a guest? Why do you wish to see her? I'm here to get the violet rose Olgird gave Iris just before he left. Iris is inside, in the bedchamber upstairs. Take his key. It opens the rear door. Guess I'll make my own introductions. So, how should I address you? As you did now. We'd rather keep our names to ourselves. Thieves tried to lower the statue with ropes, but something scared them off. Don't know this deity. Strange. Old gear doesn't seem the pious type. Intruder buried by the caretaker. Seeds and bulbs. Someone's still planting flowers.
My house. Everything's clean, ready for a meal to be served. Caretaker must still set the table. are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Hmm. Fire damage. Interesting.
lost your nerve. <laughs> Be her. Damn it. You wish to see her? Here she is. A man should frame his wishes carefully. It forestalls disappointment. This some sick joke. Why didn't you tell me she was dead right away? You didn't ask. <sighs> and why hasn't anyone buried her? We can't. As for the caretaker, the one you cut down, while still alive, she ordered him to stay away from her, for all time. How did she die? Don't see any wounds, evidence of a fight. Her heart burst. Meaning what? A heart attack? No, it simply burst. Find that hard to believe. Yet that's precisely what happened. One day Iris locked the front door, lay down here and died. From grief, from loneliness. The deeper I get into this, the more I gotta wonder. Why are you even helping me? We were summoned to serve Iris von Everick. Our mistress died, but that did not free us from her service. Got it. You wanna leave this place, leave these bodies. <laughs> Surprised. No, not at all. Her ghost's restless, angry, attacks intruders. Know why? Lady Von Everick has endured much hardship. 
She's unaccustomed to guests and not fond of strange folk. She can't hear us. Seems I gotta speak to Iris's ghost. It's no easy task to contact the mistress. Rage and bitterness fill her. Got my ways. To make contact with Iris, I gotta bury her body. But that caretaker's macabre little cemetery won't do. Too much blood, too much fear. She spent much time in the front garden. Hmm, maybe there. Wait! Take this key. It opens the front door. Good dog. sit here, but this is not a good place for a grave. Too close to the house. I'll keep searching. Iris von Everek adored flowers. But she would never want to destroy them. Hmm. All right. I'll dig the grave somewhere else. Seems suitable. Yes, she loved to paint. Did Iris von Everick have any last requests? Say how she wanted her remains disposed of? She feared death. Worried none would see to her burial or say a kind word in parting. Guess I'll be the one to do that. I didn't know Iris von Everek, so I can't say much about her. Fate had it a stranger now lays her remains in the grave. Can't say much about Iris von Everek, but I do know I like her paintings. It's a shame her art couldn't bring her greater comfort. I didn't know Iris von Everek. But the paintings here show amply that she and Olgird were a loving couple. Iris must have been happy, once. At times, fate muddles our path, and life turns toilsome, hard to bear. Yet all deserve respite and peace in death. You two, got any last words for your mistress? We don't partake in human rituals. Trusting that what you've done is in keeping with your customs. I can't be sure this brush was yours. But if you liked pretty trinkets, you might not mind this one lying at your side. Your name's inscribed in this sketchbook. Perhaps you'd like it to be buried with you. I don't know if you want to be buried with a painting of your husband. But you live together, so maybe you want to be with him in death as well. The remains are interred. Let's summon her. Tormented spirit, I've laid your bones to rest. Forget your wrath, forget your grief. Show yourself.
forgive me for tearing you from your realm. I need to ask you. Should I follow you? All right. What is this place? The Painted World. The work of Iris von Everek. How do you two get in here? We exist in both worlds at once. Strange place. One born of Iris von Everek's dreams. It existed only in her mind while she lived. In death it gained substance. Pretty fantastic tale. Hard as hell to believe. Yet you'd best believe it, and be on your guard. The painted world is rife with danger. All right, this is lovely and all, but where's Iris? You awoke her but for a moment. If you wish to speak to her, you must tear her from her slumber completely. Sure, but how? You're a tracker, right? Saw you examining the tracks outside. Yeah, so? This is a world built of memories blurred and wilting. Moments our mistress wishes to forget, but cannot. You need to find them, restore them, summon the fears that torment Iris, and destroy them. Easy to say. Spectres of Olgid and his wife, but why aren't they moving? This is a memory. But it's incomplete, blurred. You must peer closely and restore it. Iris was painting the manor. a dog. Or a dog and a cat. Even better. When the rain comes, the dog will warm my feet and the cat will play with a ball of yarn by the fire. 
What do you think? Are you even listening? Apologies, dear. I had my mind on my book. Is it that terribly absorbing? Hmm? Yes, uh, terribly. Know what? Let's go inside. Why? It's lovely out here. The birds singing, the bees buzzing. Blissful, really. Sorry, dear. I feel unwell. I'll go in. You stay a while longer. What is that? Another memory? No, a nightmare. A fear embodied, which sooner or later you will have to confront.
Geert and his wife look frozen mid-motion. One of her memories. It is blurred, incomplete. You must restore it. The memory's blurred. You must search for a way to restore it. Complete it. Search for a way to restore it. Complete it. Gathered decorations for a special occasion. Wine cup, just like the one Olgeard's holding. A wedding veil? Your health, my dear wife. And yours, my husband. In my land, custom calls that newlyweds be greeted with bread and salt. But we're alone for now. I need none but you. Oh, if only this moment could last forever. I shall see what I can do. But come in and see our home. Gladly, but... I know this sounds silly, yet the house has sat empty for so long and I'm... Afraid of spiders. I know, I know. I swept them all up and tossed them in the garden. My knight, you've seen to everything. Coming. A wraith? No, a nightmare. A fear crystallized, one you must now face.
same figure. those two. Another dream of the past, but this one's incomplete too. Silver thread, pearls, it all must have cost a fortune. A lavish feast, trying to impress the guests. Beard's wife liked flowers. Judging by the ornamentation, this might be hers. Seen this hairbrush. It was in bad shape in the real world. Just a little different than the painting. Castel Ravello. A Toussaint wine. Expensive. My darling, is everything all right? You seem pale, out of sorts. Everything's fine, really. But why don't you tell me how you fare? I'm ever so happy to see you. Except, why didn't Grandmama and Grandpapa come? It's a long, rugged journey. Muddy. They still refuse to meet me. Is that it? And what's this? We brought some of Iris's things. Her favorite brush, her cherished doll. Ah, and uh, this for you. Banknotes. We paid off your debts, bought them out, to avoid bringing shame to the family. So nice of Mama and Papa to remember me. Oh, kid. Now you see his true nature? I warned you before the wedding. A ruffian and a boar who keeps the company of bandits. Are you not afraid to live under one roof with that rabble? What? Lost your nerve? So let's follow him. Not you again. Don't like this place.
wash basin. Hmm, blood stains on it. Towel stained with blood. Blood stains. Someone washed their hands, then wiped them dry on that towel. It's almost gone. Bloodstained towel. Didn't wash it all off. Got some on the towel. Shirt. Never worn, I think. Probably not right. Probably not right. It's late. Sleep. Up all night in your study again, I see. What have you got on your hands? Nothing. Got a bit dirty, that's it. Is that blood? Have you hurt yourself? Ink stains. I was writing letters. I shall go to Oxenfurt soon. Perhaps you'd come with me. Oh, that's a marvellous idea. A trip would do us both so much good. Then it's decided. Now, time for bed. I'm exhausted. I shan't fall asleep now. It's out of the question. Come, I shall finish your portrait. Details are off. Living tableau's missing something. Fresh, as if someone just rinsed it. Goblet, like the one in the painting. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Still not right. Living tableau's gotta look just like the painting. Let's try this. Hmm. Maybe here? Let's try this. Maybe this. Here. This goes here. Fits, I think. Maybe on this side. Finally, just like the picture. Smile a bit wider. Like this. 
You were meant to smile, not bare your teeth. No, still wrong. Smile like you did when Papa agreed we could marry. Please? Hmm? You're useless. I can tell something's bothering you. I've a bit of work I should see to. Again? Olgird, we agreed not to keep any secrets from one another. We promised. Forgive me. I don't wish to discuss this. Olgird. Olgird! Master von Everick's study. Here he immersed himself in the arcane arts. here to bind summoned beings. Lines aren't all clear though. Need chalk to fix them, and I can set out the candles. Manor was depressingly gloomy in the winter. Chalk. Blood. For some kind of magic, I bet. of mystery between worlds, the library of an occultist. Blood pacts, or on foreign presences. Hmm. A tome about parleying with demons.
these wax candles. <sighs> Black magic. That should do it. Now for the candles. <sighs> I need to think this through. Let's try this again. Let's try this. Nothing. What about this? Uh, not even a fizzle. Maybe this? Nope. Botched it, I guess. How about this? back. We must talk. Go away. I wish to be alone. Not this time. Come out at once. Leave me be. I merely want to work in peace. What other spell must I use, damn it? I've tried them all. I wish to end our pact. I summon thee!
Just wonderful. Drained to the last drop. A knife covered in blood. Guess Olgir got the scars on his shoulders that winter. So this is when he started smoking. A beer tankard. But there was vodka in it. Hmm, a marriage contract between Iris and Olgierd. Contract. Furthermore, it is agreed that Iris shall be accorded the respect she is owed, that you shall heed her counsel and requests, and... Get to the point, Father. My patience runs thin. Gladly. On Iris's request, I declare this marriage null and void. You vowed to remain with me. Till death do us part. And I've held to my vow. The old geared I married is no more. Breaking a word once given does not come that easy. Believe me. You shall stay here. Forever. Enough! You will not command us. You will... Father! Father! No! Servants, take this carcass and feed it to the beasts. Well, how long are you gonna make me wait? Then Von Everick ceased to be human. Though he still loved his wife. No, he merely remembered that he should love her. Let's go upstairs.
remember. We spent much time together here, the three of us. In silence. We'll take our places, the same as then. You do the rest. setting. No others on the table. Claw scratches. Of course not. I already told you, we're not animals. But the caretaker would set them out all the same, as ordered. Another monstrosity. I begged you to stop this. Those two are too, too many as it is. The dog and cat keep you company. This one will protect you, care for the house, no matter what happens. Before, I wished to know what was going on in that head of yours. I thought perhaps I could help. Now, I care not the slightest what you think or how you feel. I... feel nothing. Just as I no longer know if I still hate you. Go, Olgird. I want you out of my sight. Olgird von Everick failed to understand we'd never be able to replace him. His spectre now casts a shadow over Lady Iris's every remembrance. We're almost at our journey's end. What's there? Iris von Everick's greatest fear.
dearest wife, letters from Old Gear to Iris, where I only as skilled with words as I am with my blade, especially now, when an icy void grips my heart. I see how you look at me, and I see you wither. I cannot help you, but I believe I can cease harming you. This letter and this rose are my farewell. May you live in health, and remember but the good times, Old Gear. Him. Wait, I want to talk. Not here. Not in this place. I'm sorry. I mistook you for another. For Olgird? I thought he'd returned. To me. What are you? A ghost? An illusion? 
I am sadness. Saw you before, but you weren't yourself. And I saw you again in your memories. We've met. I don't recall. I had bad dreams. That is all I know. I've come for the violet rose Olgir gave you. On the day we saw one another for the last time. I dried it and placed it in our chamber at my bedside. I lay there for days, staring at it, until at last it crumbled into dust, as did I soon after. So, the rose is gone? Not from this world. Look, you buried my body and the flowers bloomed once more. And I... I was held in a deep, dark sleep. Only now have I awoken, just like my beautiful rose. When you placed the hairbrush on my grave, I remember brushing my hair while Olgird watched in silence. When you placed the sketchbook on my grave, I remembered learning to draw my husband's face. When you placed the painting on my grave, I remembered the day of my marriage. Tell me, how is Olgird? Healthy? Does he fare well? Your husband's got a powerful enemy. Gontor Odin. Know the name? I curse the day I first heard it. Who is he? And how'd he step into your lives? It's my fault. It was for me Olgird summoned the Man of Glass. And it was my fault he wished for riches, then immortality for us both. Olgird will best Odin, won't he? Now tell me, how is my husband? Shouldn't worry about him at all. He's no longer the man you loved. So his heart remains hardened. Olgird's fine. No ailments in any case. Always healthy as an ox. Always escaping trouble without a scratch. Your husband. Hunts out ever stronger sensations. He tempts fate. Because at heart, he's unhappy. At heart, he is stone. So nothing has changed. And did... Did Olgird mention me? What did he say? Not much. But I didn't ask about you. He just sent me to retrieve the rose. The rose? The last I have left of him. His last gift. Got a feeling the rose is important to you, more than a memento. I remember so little. Yet when I think of my rose, I begin to recall what was. The world around me turns real, and I... My eyes open wide and I recognize things. Remember who I am and who I was. A friend once told me about a case like this. Could be strong emotions that bind you to the rose. Feelings we witchers call pins. They're what keeps you in this world. Like an insect pinned in a collection case. Horrible. Need to be honest, if I take the rose, you might cease to exist. As might the world you built around you. And what will happen then? 
Shall I be free of the suffering, the sadness? Is it the void that awaits? I don't know. I don't wish to suffer any longer. But I fear there will be cold and darkness until there is nothing at all. I can't take the rose. Is it not what you came for? Can't force Iris into oblivion. She thinks and feels still, and she's no danger to anyone but intruders. Look at her. Look at her world. She's doomed to relive the painful past eternally. Take the rose. Show her mercy. What should I do? What do you want me to do? I do not know what I want. I'm so very, very afraid. You too. You want me to take the rose, trying to convince me. Why? We want to help Iris von Everick. And you. Generous demons? I don't buy it. Because you are demons, right? You were to serve Iris until the end of her days, and didn't come with her death, so you were sentenced to stay in the world of her torment for all time. Can't break the contract yourselves, so you need me to do it for you. If I take the rose, Iris will cease to exist, but you'll also be freed. You're right. But are we wrong to want that? Our intentions are pure. We're but bit players in this tragedy. A performance has gone on too long. We can't help the mistress, and her fate no longer moves us. Can we be blamed for simply wanting to leave the stage? I won't decide your fate. I can't accept the rose. Will you leave empty-handed? What about your task? Rose stays with Iris. So that is how it's to be. Perhaps in the years to come, another will appear to free us. I don't know that you've chosen wisely. And though I feel no gratitude, I'll not send you away empty-handed. Look, the petal edges darken. The flower closes and I am overcome with sleep. Good night, stranger. You must leave. The rose awaits outside this world, while I... I descend once more into my dream of what was. Olgid, I wish to be with Olgid, to gaze into those eyes, eyes the devil would be proud to have. Farewell. Things changed. Got the violet rose there now. And Iris, ready to see her husband again.
I need the rose. Will you give it to me? It's so fragile. Look, the petal edges have turned crimson, as they were on the day I received it. The one thing missing is the single drop of dew which slid down the leaf when I took the rose in hand. Or was it blood? Because I pricked my finger. I can't remember. You know, I never did read the letter from Orgird. I didn't have to. And I needn't have kept the flower he left me. I've come to a decision. I shall give you the rose. Our service thus ends. Thank you, stranger, for freeing us. Before we go, some advice. Beware of the one called the Man of Glass. Stand in his way, and you'll meet a fate worse than death. Seek salvation in glass that can't be broken. Glass that can't be broken? So long. I'll remember you, Iris von Everek. That no longer matters. Farewell.